I'm Vince Graves, Technical Advisor at Sega Manufacturing. To reach any of our customer care support staff, call us at 815-297-9500 or email us at customercare at sega.com. I'd like to discuss how to diagnose a motor that won't turn. If you ever press your service menu button and you've got a motor count that seems off by a number, or you've got a selection that shows either not available make an alternate selection or sold out even though there's product in it, you've probably got a motor that's become disconnected. And there's a couple reasons that can happen. If we open our machine, we can first inspect and see if there's any products that are jammed or that have become lodged against the divider plate. We can see if our coil looks like it's caught in between spins. If we pull our tray out into loading position, We can see in the back of the tray the motor and we can feel the harness where the wires are connected that run the motor. Once you've inspected your lane to make sure there are no jams present, we want to press the service menu button, which is our square blue button on the bottom right hand corner of our control board, or depending on your machine type, could be the same blue button about halfway up running along the left side. We'll press our blue button to enter our service mode. You'll want to reference your operator's manual to know the exact programming for the software version that your exact model has. But here, the first thing that's displayed is a motor count. This one is the correct motor count for this machine. But if your machine is showing less, the first thing we want to do is perform a home and count. That will send a signal from each motor on each harness back to the control board and give us a correct count of how many motors are hooked up to the control board. So we'll press the number seven. We can hear a few things turn. And now we've got our new motor count of 29D as it goes through and finishes its count. Once we've performed our home and count, checked our lane to make sure that there is nothing lodged in there, what we're going to want to do next is do some test spins and see if we can get the motor to turn when it's in test mode. So again, we'll enter our service mode. On this software, we're going to press the number 8. We're going to select 135. And currently we have 135 spinning freely. If that is not the case, and in test mode, your motor does not spin the coil, you are off on your motor count, and you don't have anything lodged in the machine, on certain machines and certain softwares, you'll want to go to diagnostics and do a clear errors. And the next step would be pulling this tray forward to its loading position. And with your machine powered off, you're going to need to check the wire harness connection on the motor in the back of the tray. You may need to pull the tray out to be able to see this if you can't feel it with your hands. And you can look back at our video on how to pull a tray to see how to do that. Once you've reconnected your tray harness, you can close your tray back up to its vending position, power back up, and repeat your steps again using a test vend to make sure that your motor is working properly now.